I am pleased to be joined by Eagles wide receiver Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun, welcome. And where are you calling from? Man, thanks for having me, man. I'm actually in uh, Florida right now, man, uh, spending time with my kids and just kind of trying to stay safe, man, the same. What was it like for you last year? You've had some time to think it all through. How would you, I mean, the first time in your career that this kind of thing happened, how do you kind of process it all? How do you feel about it? Man, shoo, it was a roller coaster ride, man. That was very frustrating. Um, humbling at the same time as well, too, because never uh, in my career I had to go through a whole year without being able to play football and being out there with my teammates and my brothers and to go to war. So, uh, you know, at the same time, I, I tried everything I could to get back healthy, to stay healthy. And, you know, it was just uh, kind of like shooting myself in the foot. I could never really get through it, man. It was tough, man. I really didn't know what to do. Just tried to do the best I could and listen to the doctors and the team doctors. But uh, go through what I needed to go through. Uh, my teammates fought and battle throughout a heck of a season last year. And it was just – you know, hard to see that and not be able to go out there to go to war with them. Yeah, I mean, for you, that's the hardest part. You love to play football, and it was taken away from you. I wonder, what did you learn about yourself in that year? Man, I learned a lot about myself, man. Uh, you know, I was able to get closer to my, my family. I uh, was able to spend a lot more time with my kids, you know, because usually throughout the season, uh, you know, so busy and not really able to spend time with kids. Uh, you know, just really – kind of take a step back and just understand that, you know, what a blessing it is we have to play a sport we all love to play, uh, you know, and it's be, it was taken away from me. So, you know, at any given time, you know, you, you can't really say that, you know, this is going to happen or that's going to happen. You just got to take it as, as it comes and, you know, take your blessings with your curses and just know that everything happens for a reason. Deshaun, it sounds like in a way you might have a little chip on your shoulder this year. Is that – is that an accurate read on my part? Yeah. Man, I always have a chip on my shoulder, but yeah, I, I definitely have an extra chip on my shoulder. So, uh, you know, just just knowing that where times are and, uh, you know, where we're at today in time that, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of, you know, uncertainty. It's a lot of, uh, you know, unknown. And, you know, throughout throughout all of that, you just got to keep your, your faith and uh, just know that the man above has a plan for us all. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate to people that are losing their lives, but, uh, you know, you just got to stay prayed up, man, and uh, just know that everyone on earth has a time, and we, we never know when our time is. So you just have to put your best foot forward and just go out there and just keep working hard. And, uh, you know, one thing I can say is I'm always going to have my hard hat on, and I'm coming to work, and I'm going to work hard, and I'm going to give my best effort. So, you know, we got a lot of light left, and I'm, I'm ready to shine on it. Deshaun, do you believe that when you get back on the field that you will be as fast as – you've ever been and as explosive and big playmaking as you've ever been? Yeah, I definitely feel, uh, you know, this surgery that I had um, is kind of re-instructed, re-strengthened uh, it um, and just built it up to a whole nother level. Uh, you know, it was a, a lot of people that I, you know, talked with and, you know, that had the same surgery that they came out better on the other side of the light. So, um, like I said, man, I hopefully come back faster, stronger. You know, I, I'm, I'm definitely ready to roll, man. I fly high. Deshaun, that week one performance, two touchdown receptions, 150 plus yards, I mean, big play after big play. It really was very exciting to see you and Carson work together. How do you feel about getting it going on a full-time basis with Carson in 2020? Man, I look forward to that, man. That's one thing that, you know, there's been drawn to the utmost is being able to get back out there with a guy like Carson. Uh, man, he puts a lot of hard work into his craft and what he's able to do on the field man he's made some crazy throws prolonged a lot of big plays and uh one thing i will say about him he's a competitor he's a, a fierce competitor out this world and uh you know man i missed time out there playing with him uh you know he was trying to do everything he could with the you know the weapons he had and uh play at a high level so man i look forward to getting back out there you know working out with them training with them building with him and uh you know hopefully we have a long season together next year and uh you know and our uh our fight to win another Super Bowl, man, for Philadelphia. Deshaun, in free agency, the Eagles get Darius Slay and Nickel Roby Coleman. Uh, have you played against both of those players? Can you give us a little scouting report why Eagles fans should be excited about those two? Um, I can't recall playing against uh, Roby um, Coleman, but uh, you know I played against Darius Slay numerous times. Um, 
you know, I, I feel like, you know, he's one of the best corners in the NFL and uh, he plays at a high level. Um, anytime I played against him in the past, I always brought my A game and, uh, you know, I studied him. So, you know, looking forward to the battles we're going to have in practice and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, that pays off to, you know, him shedding a lot of receivers down in the NFL this year. Deshaun, what kind of feedback have you gotten from Eagles fans really in the last 12 months since you came back to Philadelphia and then through the injury? How supportive were Eagles fans? Man, Eagles fans have been very supportive of uh, me my whole career. We had some battles, some tough battles when I went to uh, Washington and, and Tampa. But, you know, being back, the, the way they embraced me, the way they, um, you know, showed me love numerous times, man, it's been nothing but utmost um, respect on my end for them and what they do. And, you know, their passion they have is being Eagles fans, man. They they put it on the line for us every Sunday. No one compares to Eagles fans, man. And I, I just appreciate, you know, their hard work. And, um, you know, Philadelphia is a brother to left city, man. You can tell every time you go out on the field. Deshaun, sometimes when things are taken away from you, you realize even more how much you love it. Is that the way you kind of look at this situation after missing so much of 2019, how much it really reminds you how much you love the game of football? Yeah, that's why I say, man, you can never take anything for granted, man. Anytime you're playing a, a sport like this, you know, a lot of us play since we've been kids. Um, you know, the opportunity we're able to have to continuously go out there and play a sport that we've been playing since we're kids and, you know, get paid, you know, pretty good for it, man. That's a dream come true. And every time I go out there, I always count my blessings, never take anything for granted. And uh, no, it's really any given play, man. You can be hurt. It can be taken away from you. And uh, as long as you know that, I try to tell these young kids coming into that, you know, it's not promise. It's not promise to nobody. It's what, 1,200, 1,300 spots. And uh, I mean, it's millions of kids that try to play this game. You know, knowing that in your head, knowing that in your mind is just going out there and just knowing and every time you step on the field, you know, it, it can't be taken for granted. What are you watching on TV? If you can give us a little playlist, answer that question. And then if you have any memories from being drafted from the Philadelphia Eagles, what kind of memories that you could share with us as well? I mean, catching up on some old uh, classic Super Bowls. Um, last night I was actually watching uh, Green Bay play. Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, as far as what I remember about draft day, uh, dream come true, man. Uh, I had my whole family with me. They actually came out and filmed it, ESPN did. And, uh, you know, it's just one of them days where, you know, you're sitting back and patiently waiting to hear your name be called. And, you know, I remember, you know, thinking I was going first round and, you know, I slipped to the second round. And, uh, you know, all my family was like, you know, it's, it's a team that's going to be calling. It's a team that's going to want you. It's a team that, you know, is it's going to be rememberable. And, uh, you know, Philadelphia, what better place to, to go? Have Brian Dawkins, uh, Brian Westbrook, Dominic McNabb, Sante Samuel. Like, it was a lot of dudes that I looked up to that I was able to come and play with. So, you know, I could just remember all the memories. And, you know, once my name was called, man, it was like, you know, just a pressure reliever. Like, man, it's just, you know, everything was kind of went away. And I'm like, man, now I could go focus on being the best wide receiver I can be. Deshaun, finally, any message for Eagles fans out there who are just so excited to see you at Lincoln Financial Field on the road when this football season starts? I appreciate everybody that's been supporting us since day one. And just know that you know, we're all going to do everything we can to bring back another Super Bowl, man. That's all. At, at this point in my career, man, that's all I'm missing. So I'm going to do everything I can to go out there and, and win a Super Bowl for Philadelphia. Deshaun, thank you so much for joining us, the great Deshaun Jackson. Cannot wait to see you back on the football field at the NovaCare Complex. Stay in shape, stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you so much for joining us. For sure. Thank you, man.